everybody, I'm the Lazy Kiwi and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I again wanted to do a random genetics challenge because I really do have a lot of fun with these. So I'm actually just going to jump right into it. If you guys do not know what a random genetics challenge is, I will link my other videos down below for you guys so that you guys can check it out. But this sim is going to be our mom sim and her name is Angel Rainley. I'm just going to randomly click one of these okay family super parent okay so again I'm just also going to randomize their likes and dislikes and you guys can read it over there if you guys would like to but yeah this start sim is actually so pretty I'm actually upset that we have to randomize her completely but the first thing I'm going to do is actually randomize her skin tone one two three Oh my gosh, this is the first time we got a crazy skin tone like this. I'm actually really excited about that. But let's do her head shape as well. Just bear in mind, you guys are going to get sick of me saying one, two, three. The whole entire time. Also, eyebrows for some reason take really long. Hopefully we also get some really nice eye colors because I do have a lot of... Yeah, okay. I actually do also really like the eye shape. So hopefully the sim so far is actually really cute. Love the nose as well. Cheeks, one, two, three. Normal cheeks as well. Jawline, one, two, three. Okay, immediately the jaw is a lot longer. Her mouth, one, two, three. That first one would have been stunning. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, this is also the first time we got the big ears, but you know. It's all good, we like that for us. And this is actually the craziest the sim has looked yet in one of these challenges. I don't think I forgot anything on her, like, face, so I'm just gonna move on with her hair. One, two, three! I really liked that first hair, but this one is also normal. I mean, she's showing off what her mama gave her. So let us move on to her body as well. Also, I started working on my audio. So if you guys can actually let me know what you think about it, please do because I sincerely want to make it as good as possible. And I wouldn't be able to do that if I do not know what it sounds like to you guys. But yeah, so this is her new body. And I'm also going to do tops and bottoms because I think that's a lot more fun than just doing a full-on outfit. So one, two, three. Okay, a snowy escape shirt and bottoms. One, two, three. Some normal business pants. They kind of work, I guess. I, I don't really think so, but it's fine. One, two, three. Okay, she's definitely a stay-at-home mom. Like, she's giving me stay-at-home mom vibes. <laughs> she's cute, I guess. I like her. Angel Rainley. We definitely have something very different to work with this time than we... So let us go ahead and make a male sim as well. Okay, so this is our start sim. His name is going to be Ismail Carpenter. And he is going to... Be a genius, a snob, and a cat lover. And let us quickly give him something random as well. Nature and the curator. Okay, I'm also going to give him just random likes and dislikes. And you guys can pause here if you want to read it. But let us get right into his little random makeover. Okay, skin tone again. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, wait! <laughs> This is gonna be a fun one! Unless the child just doesn't have either of their skin tones, which I can expect from this game. His head shape looks exactly the same, like it's a little different. Nose shape, really normal. Cheeks, normal. The jaw, I'm afraid, is going to... Oh! That one was smaller. Okay, jaw also very normal. One, two, three. Very large lippies. I mean, it's really pretty. One, two, three. Okay, he has very small ears. Did I forget something? I don't think I forgot something. Oh, the chin. I don't think I did the chin on the mother either. So I'm just going to go back to do that as well. 
Let us give you a new chin, my lady. You need to get a new chin. I did not do that for you. So that is her new chin as well. It didn't really make that big of a difference, but you know, it's okay. Eyebrows, I almost forgot for him. One, two, and three. Okay, so I don't really get why he has blonde. I guess it's gonna change. Okay, so let us do his hair. One, two, three. That first one would have been really cool, but this is his hair. Of course, it has to be yellow. Why would it not? Do we think we should give him a hat? I think I want to give him a hat, maybe. One, oh, two. Maybe we should, maybe we should stick with custom content for this one i'm just i'm just gonna start over with hats okay one two three oh oh of course it has to be the one that glitched okay um i'm not i'm not allowed to take it off now so that's unfortunate but uh, let's go ahead and give him some clothes as well one two three okay so pretty normal so far this outfit would have been fine honestly one two three again this is a really normal outfit so far imagine he gets like the crazier shoes now one two three ow yeah i don't like those shoes i mean from down here ignore the hat if if the hat is gone this would have been fine except the shoes but yeah this is our father ismail carpenter so let us go ahead and actually play with genetics and then we give ismail and angel a baby Okay, so I'm gonna make the child a toddler. I'm also gonna make it a female because I really like giving them like little makeovers. And then I'm just gonna randomize it three times. So that is number one. And then we now have number two and number three. So this is the baby that we are working with. She does have her father's skin tone, which is exciting. I've never had this before. I actually love it. She's also going to be an angelic sim and her name is Cynthia. Oh, that is such a cute little name. So this is her as a toddler. I don't think I'm going to give the toddler a makeover today, but let us go ahead and the moment of truth age her up into a young adult. Okay, it's a bit slow. Let's see. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait. I actually love her so much. Okay, wait, there is there is one more moment of truth that we need to see. Oh, she's like pure father. I think she has her mother's nose. Maybe her mother's eye shape, but her father's eye color definitely which is actually so pretty um these clothes are not it though okay she also has her mother's body shape oh did i not do the dad's body yeah okay i forgot to do the dad's body shape as well i apologize for that i mean we already have cynthia so i'm not gonna go back to just change that now so i'm actually going to just jump right into giving her a little makeover and start giving her some skin details okay i think this is cute i just gave her a few things and i really like how it looks on her so i think i'm immediately going to go ahead and go to eyebrows because this is not it let us give her baby brown to match her mother's hair because she's like a pure father like all the way and i also really want to give her some cute little eyes oh yeah maybe like these those are very pretty i do like those yeah i'm, I'm just gonna go for those and i'm actually going to do her makeup before i do her hair and eyeliner i really have to download some new eyeliners because i have so little eyeliners like Look at that. That's like all I have. It's not much. I mean for like CC, like not the in-game eyelashes. Those are a no for me. And lips. I do actually have a few purple looking type of lips. So this is actually quite good for me. Look at that. Those are very pretty. I actually really love how this sim is turning out like her face is gorgeous so let us give her some hair as well we are going to have a lot of hair options because when i download cc i get a lot of hairs there's just so many to choose from like there is hairs everywhere all the time 
I've also recently switched over from Alpha CC to Maxis Match CC, so yeah, that that's very exciting for me because I mean it's something very new. I'm very very new to using Maxis Match CC, and I actually really really love it so much. I don't know why I haven't used it, but look at her, she is gorgeous. I'm actually going to go back to the braids because I really do like how these look on her. These earrings kind of look like they're floating a little bit, but when I look like this way, it doesn't seem like they are. You know, it's fine. We we don't care. Okay, so let us go ahead and give her some cute clothes as well. I really like these, like, I cannot remember who they are from. But, like, there is solids and then there's patterns. Like, this is a great example. This is the solid and this is the pattern. And every color on the pattern has a different pattern. I cannot for the life of me remember who the creator is. So if any one of you guys know, please just put it in the comments. Because I'm sure a lot of people would love to know. Maybe if we can find something patterned, that would be a lot of fun. Like, this one is patterned, so then... I don't know about that one though. Oh, there's this one. This one is also very nice. It also has a lot of patterns and a lot of like really bold out there patterns. But I actually really do like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this shirt really works with this bottom. I don't know why this is so hard for me. I just really want it to look like... I'm imagining her in my head, and I know that that's a little bit strange. Maybe this shirt, I really do like how this shirt looks on her. Maybe we can change the skirt color. Maybe we do the black one, and then we give her like a little pink top to match the little flower bottoms. I mean, that's nice. It also matches her skin tone a lot better. I really do like how this looks. So let us find her some shoesies as well. I'm not gonna go for heels because I'm just not getting a heel vibe from her. So let us maybe find some fat little shoesies like these. Those immediately are very cute. They can work in that or black. We also have uh, these, which are also very cute. They can also really work. I actually do like those a lot. Again, very cute shoes, but I'm kind of leaning towards these. I kind of like how they look. So maybe we could also give her like little pink toenails. Like we go for those little toenails. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And I can also give her some pretty nails. Like those. That is gorgeous. Um, I'm also kind of thinking, like, maybe we can give her some tattoos, like, like a lot. I, I'm really getting full, full body tattoo vibes from her. Maybe these. I do like most of these, so I'm really vibing with that. Let's see how it looks like with the clothes on. Yeah, I actually really like that. That is so cool. I wish it had like a back tattoo as well. Maybe I can find something that does have a back tattoo like that. I found like this fishy, so maybe, maybe the fishy will look really nice. Yeah, look at the fishy! The fishy's really nice, I like that one. But yeah, let us maybe give her a personality as well. So, she is a active glutton and high maintenance sim. And I think for her, I'm just going to give her the location and the ocean, like, like the beachy one, beach life. Because I'm just getting that vibe, but again, I am going to just randomize her likes and dislikes. And you guys can pause if you want to read what, like, her likes and dislikes are. Okay, immediately my eye caught she dislikes tattoos. And I, I just don't think she would. I actually think she would like tattoos. So, retake on that. Now, you can check that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is Cynthia Carpenter. Let me know what you guys think about her. And if you guys would like to see this again, also let me know. And uh, yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel. And I will definitely see you all in another video. Goodbye, everybody.
Yeah.